Carousels are some of the most effective posts on both Instagram and LinkedIn. However, it does take a little bit of time to come up with all the information, to find the right template and to write everything. But I found an AI tool that can do this in seconds and because it's still in beta, it's absolutely free right now. So now is the best time to go and test it and start creating carousels. In a couple of months time, it will probably be a paid product, but for right now, it's completely free and it can create posts from its own knowledge. Just give it, just give it a topic. It can create carousels from your copy. So you will upload your copy and it will make it into carousels or it will do it from a URL, for example, from an article. So let me switch my screen and I'll show you how easy it is. So before we check out that little tool, make sure that you follow my channel for more simple tutorials like this. And if you're a coach or a course creator, make sure to check the AISchoolofbusiness.com and the link is in the description. Okay, so the tool is called Post Nitro. And as I said, at the moment it is in beta and it is free. I don't know if in another a month, two months, three months, six months, it will still be free, but for now it's absolutely free and you should take advantage because it's so simple to create carousels with it. The URL is postnitro.ai and once you get to the website, all you need to do is click on the green button that says create carousel and that will bring you into the dashboard. Now on the left hand side here, you will see the templates. They don't have a lot of templates, but it allows you to design them in a different way. So uh, the background pattern, you can have dots like it's here. You can have a grid, you can have wiggles, waves. Uh, what else do I have? A cage. So the background can be changed um, to be different. Also, you can change the opacity of uh, the background pattern. Uh, you can uh, also have different design elements, which would be uh, the, the elements that show you from one slide to another. Like for example, you can have, uh, let me see what's going on here. You can have circles, which is not showing me here and it's making me a liar. Let's go to a different, uh, let's go to the black uh, template and let's go back to the design and you will see you can have circles, which are these big circles here. Uh, you can have rounded arrows, meteors. Um, yeah, the black really shows it well. Uh, music and of course, again, you can change the opacity. Uh, the layout, you, you only have two, um, uh, two options. One is the box one, which is uh, that box here, or the default, which means that you don't have this gray box. And of course, you can change your color palette. You can have a custom color palette if you have specific brand colors, or you can just um, choose a, a different one. All right, that's for the design. Now in the settings, you can actually, um, um, you, you have some options here, whether or not to show the slide number. So as you can see here, the one disappears and appears, the swipe indicator, which is this little arrow here, and the bookmark button, which is at the very end. And, I, uh, and this is the little bookmark um, button. So you can either remove it or not. Okay, uh, with the branding, again, uh, let me go to the first slide. Okay, with the branding, this little avatar that you see here, this would be your logo if you have one, or you can just remove it. Same with the name. And with the handle, you can choose to have it or not. And um, of course, on the branding, uh, whether you can actually remove it altogether with the uh, the show um, branding, or you can do it on the um, intro and outro slides only. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, when we go, once we have our template and when we go to all, we can actually decide on how many slides we want. 
we can choose our default model, which can be the 3.5 Turbo or the GPT-4. And uh, as I mentioned in the very beginning, you can just give it a topic and it will create the slides for you, the whole carousel. You can upload, not upload, you can actually copy and paste your own text and it will take that text and make it uh, into a carousel. Or you can give it a URL. Um, they indicate that they want an article. So if you give it a URL to, to an article, it will create your slides. And the more slides you have, if you have long text, just give it more slides. Something else you can do with the slides here is you can configure and you can either have the title or not. Actually, let me move to the second one uh, and go back in here again. Uh, so uh, as you can see, you can uh, have the title or not, the description, yes or no, or you can have an image. Uh, as you can see, you can have an image, but let's give it a topic um, so we can actually see how it works. Let's say changing, oops, sorry. Let's say we want changing bad habits. And we're going to just give it this topic and it will generate. Sometimes it takes only a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, depending on the topic. Sometimes the topic is easy and the AI can create your slides very quickly and sometimes it can't. In this case, that was an easy topic. And as you can see, we have Changing Bad Habit, the ultimate guide. And then we have um, all these slides. Now, something else uh, we can do is um, like we can uh, decide on whether or not we want this to be underlined, for example, or if we want it to be italic or we can strike through or um, change the color. Okay. Uh, and as I mentioned, we can actually have images. So in here, I can just add an image and I'll just pick a, a random image from my computer which is definitely not going to go with this slide, but um, uh, as you can see, you can actually have an image um, or you don't even have to have this text. Maybe you just want the image. Uh, you can add a slide here. It will add a new slide if you need a new slide. And once you are ready, all you need to do is click download. And something that I like, and I, I didn't think that they will allow us to download without a watermark with uh, their branding, but there is no watermark. So the slides are clean and you can use them anywhere. Another thing that I really like is that you can save those slides as either PNGs, which is good for Instagram, or as a PDF, which is good for LinkedIn. You can also export to Zapier. So once it's ready, all you need to do is save as PNG and then save it to your computer. And, and that's it. That's all. As you can see, even if you have no idea what to put in your um, carousels, what content to write, you can just give it a topic and it will do it for you. So once again, I will put that link to the post Nitro AI in the description. The description for the AI School of Business is also in the, in the description. And let me know, comment, let me know uh, about your experience with the carousels. Do you like this little tool? And definitely use it while it's still completely, completely free.